Four five eight talk is. I haven't met him yet, by the way. The number. <laughs> Good morning, caller. Welcome to Patriots Lament. Who's this? Hi. Hi. Who is this? Must be me. <laughs> Might be. Who is this? Well, well, I don't know. You stick your head up, it, and somebody will come down and they'll hammer it down. You know? Is it Cecily? I, I don't want to go to jail. All yeah. right. All right. Thanks <laughs> for calling in. <laughs> you're not going to go to jail today. <laughs> okay. you're, you're already on the list. You're going in next week. Go oh ahead. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, the ticket here is I. I, I if, Somebody is real good at research and stuff to find out how many properties that our borough has stolen from, you know, individual people. Uh, my my grandmother in, um, used to own a lot of property downtown in Fairbanks, and they forged her name and stole her property and taxed her uh, out of the rest. You know, uh, uh, since they uh, did that, they they did pay for her five year uh, stint in the Denali Center, but in the meantime. They took all of her, her all of her uh, earned um, uh, wealth and and kept it for themselves. But uh, she's probably not the only one. And uh, I wonder if, if there's somebody out there who does good research and likes to do that and find out how much property has been stolen by our government. The last time I look, I think there are 70 parcels that are being confiscated by the government for not paying property taxes. Just here in the borough? Yes. Just this year? I I don't remember. No, it wasn't this year. It's been several months since I looked, and at that time there were 70, if I remember right. I could be wrong, but that's the number that's sticking in my head. Yeah, but it's their property. Oh, yeah. You know, really, if you're paying rent on, on a piece of property, who does it belong to? Well, not you. Right, or exactly. Do you pay? Do you property. do you do you have do you pay property taxes, Cecily? Um, yes, I do because I need a place to live, and so, you know, yeah. and pretty much, uh, you know, uh, it. I've been robbed and and um, raped and 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 abused the entire time in this space. But but uh, there are times and places of joy, like when I. Hear people stand up for freedom and the right to thank you yeah. so hey, much so we, for your show. Thank you for calling in. We will continue to stand up for you too, Cecily. Don't forget that. Thank you. All right, four five eight talk is the number. Good morning. Welcome to Patriots Lament. Who's on my phone? Yeah, is that me, Steve? It might be. Yeah, Rich Hall here. Hey, Rich. Yeah, Cecily just brought up that property deal. You know, last Saturday, all a week ago, right now they were selling a bunch of property there at the borough. Evening before, I took in my twenty-three thousand, almost twenty-four thousand in rent to redeem mine, so it wouldn't be sold on Saturday. I know all about that rental deal. Thought you guy could be free and clear. Had that illusion many, you, many years have ago. You ever I signed I a, have you ever signed a rental agreement with them? No, I never did. But you know, my renters, I don't do things too casually, too. But I just losing about fifteen thousand from them too. They thought they were going to be evicted with the borough's notice of you know. Possibly eviction. I'd say on another subject, uh, our boy there in Wasilla, I've been trying to make an appointment with Schaefer's attorneys, you know, where they're trying to discredit or, oh, whatever. But that boy uh, defrauded the whole bunch of us in town, us poor innocent loggers mainly, but uh, they said they'll get with me. They have quite a list of people that want to be interviewed to help discredit their, you know, the FBI's witness, the one that set it, set this all up. I don't know if you guys are wanting to mention his name or not, but I've been trying to find him since he got me for uh, just a little bit, ten, twelve thousand. But I know he got others for sixty thousand and thirty thousand here and there, and fifteen thousand here and there. But uh, they say they're got a backlog of wanting to interview people, so I'm trying to help out a little bit there, which I guess would hopefully help. Nonsense. Yeah, yeah that'll be. I mean, that'll be something that comes up in the trials. Um, is the quality of the of the witnesses and informants and all that stuff. So that'll you know that'll definitely play into the whole uh, the whole case. Yeah, so I guess it's worth worth doing and figure any little bit. Uh, it's pretty obvious, like you say, the way they're holding everybody and trying to hold their case together. If we can knock a few bricks out from under them. Hopefully it'll be a little assistance. Otherwise, I don't know too much to do. Rich, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Four five eight talk is. I wanted to say something back number. to Go ahead. Cecily real quick with the private property. This is a from John Locke. 
something he wrote several hundred years ago. Another who idiot. people don't <laughs> yeah, another idiot. People don't know who he is. He is actually some of the founders look to for natural rights, natural law, and what they they used some of the suppositions when they created what we have. Well, no, yeah, when they created what they started 200 and some odd years ago. John Locke says, For since it can never be supposed to be the will of the society that the legislature should have a power to destroy that which everyone designs to secure by entering into society. Dave, should you should we have Dave uh, tell us what all that means while we go along? Or? <laughs> You're good. All right. In other words, I'm going to start over. Since it can never be supposed to be the will of a society that the legislators should have a power to destroy that which everyone designs to secure by entering into that society, and for which the people submitted themselves to the legislatures of their own making, that whenever the legislators endeavor to take away and destroy the property of the people or to reduce them to slavery under arbitrary power, they put themselves into a state of war with the people, who are thereupon absolved from any further obedience and are left to the common refuge which God has provided for all men against force and violence. Whosoever, therefore, the legislator shall transgress this fundamental rule of society and either by ambition, fear, folly, or corruption endeavor to grasp themselves or put into the hands of any other an absolute power over their lives, liberties, and estates of the people, by this breach of trust, they forfeit the power the people have put into their hands for quite contrary ends, and it dissolves to the people, who have the right to resume their original liberty, and by the establishment of a new legislative, such as they shall think fit, provide for their own safety and, sec and security, which is the end for which they are in the society. So to put it in American English, basically what John Locke was saying was that once the people that we elect start doing things that take away our freedoms or our property, then we are no longer beholden to obey any of their laws. Exactly. The only reason we are in the society in the first place is to protect our rights and our property. Right. You guys say a lot of stupid stuff. Now, obviously, I'm a troublemaker. 458-TALK is the number, and a godless monkey, but that's another issue. Good morning. Who's this? Yeah, this is Frank again. Um, I'd like to make a point before this jury trial, probably the most important element of this, the evidentiary hearing. This is when the DA and the defense attorneys argue uh, what evidence can be heard from the jury. But one other thing that uh, is real disturbing is it will be up to the judge, solely up to the judge, to determine what is admissible evidence to be heard in front of the jury. And I think that's what we got to be watching, the evidentiary hearing. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Frank. 458-TALK is a number. You've got it in Patriots Lament. Good morning. Who's this? Who's it's it? Brett. Brett, what's on your mind? Uh, you guys are really brave or stupid. Uh, I think we've already established that we're all stupid. Okay. Go ahead. Um, in 1968, I got arrested and thrown in jail for making a dire and derogatory statement against a federal official and a state official. They held me in jail for six months. I bailed out. They dismissed the charges the minute I bailed out and gave me back my bond money. And when you see a black suburban pull in your yard with black and white U.S. government license plate GS1 on it, you better have a back door to get out of your house because they're coming after you. <laughs> Already seen them. Already been in their ride. <laughs> All right. I'll talk All right. to you later. You hey, have a nice thanks, day. Fred. Thanks for the call. Well, Appreciate it, Brad. Well, we're not, I mean... Well, we're doing like what I just read. I was just quoting someone that... Reading what somebody else already wrote. Yeah. yeah. Who could be easily argued was his writings were foundational in the starting of our country. Yeah. But like also, I said, another idiot. Now, also, it could easily be argued that what you're reading is trying to incite the masses to uh, revolution, and therefore you, you should go to jail for... Um, all oh. I'm trying to incite people to do is to think with their own brain. That's exactly the problem. And maybe if I'm in going to incite anything, I would like to incite the legislators who are there and the governor who are there to protect us, to, to get some cojones and protect up. us. <laughs> exactly. Doesn't thinking go against continuity of government, though? You know, I think thinking generally goes against everything that America stands for right now. Yeah. 458 Talk is the number. Good morning, caller. This is Patriots Lament. Who's this? 
Good morning, Mike. This is Jackie Wilson, the Wait. Battle Axe. You know what, Jackie? There's no mic here. Oh, well, excuse me. That's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm Steve Floyd. Hi, Steve. And we've, yeah, got, we've got Josh, Aaron, and Dave on the other side, but that's okay. okay. Go ahead, Jackie. Let's get specific. Was this police commissioner an Alaskan state commissioner? Yes. What was his name? What's his name, the commissioner? Is that are you talking about the guy uh, who said the taxidermy he, commission? Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. No, Did that would be the state game comment? commission. State game commissioner. What's his name? I don't. I can't remember who he is right now. We'll look it up for you, Jackie. Go ahead. Well, did you tape his comment? I think his comment would probably be public uh, in the public realm. I mean, usually, I think I'm pretty sure that was in a hearing, so more than likely, it would be public. Well, now let's get real, you people. Go after him, hammer and tongs. Get his name. Get witnesses to his statement when it happened at what hearing. Make it public and demand he be fired. Don't sit there with your thumbs in your fingers. Do something. <laughs> Jackie, thank you for that. Right on. All right. Al, give us his name. Call us up and get it, and let's get his quote on the air. In fact, if we can find a recording for it, we will play it on the air. Thank you, Jackie. Four five eight talk is the number, gentlemen. We are right at the end of the show, if you can believe that. It's uh, it's been one of those mornings that goes by very quickly. Close it off. And <laughs> no, I mean I I don't know. I have nothing in it specific to say, but uh, if somebody's being held without evidence, um, what is that? That's not justice. Sounds American. Yeah, maybe that's the new Americanism. Yeah. All right, and uh, once again, contact information if you guys want to read more. Oh, yeah, we got uh, patriotslament.blogspot.com is the blog. And then email us at patriotslament at gmail.com. And the YouTube channel? YouTube channel is uh, Radio Free Fairbanks. Radio Free Fairbanks, there's, check it out. There's links to it on the uh, website. And uh, patriotslament.blogspot.com. And we'll be back again next week. Feel free to send us an email or contact us through the websites, and we'll take on any issue you want us to take on here at Patriots Lament. Just keep your head down, keep your fingers clean, and keep your ammo dry. Coming up next, it's Health Talk right here on KFAR. I will see you again Monday morning for the Better Breakfast Show on KFAR Local Talk Radio, 660 a.m. KFAR Fairbanks, 660 AM, online at KFAR660.com.